Hello, people all around the world, and welcome to Sly Raccoon. Sly Cooper. Sly Raccoon, what? Ah, either way. Welcome to Sly Cooper, the Phoebus Raccoonus. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents A Sucker Punch Production. Paris, France, 4.20 a.m. Select button, a uh, load game. Ah, that's right. Yes, I've already 100% at this game, but I decided to why not uh, play this 1200 again. Uh, let's remove that one. A race game. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. You might notice that uh, when that cutscene played, that Sly and Bentley and Murray uh, moved a bit strange. That's because I moved the joysticks at the same time. As you can see here right now. I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Oh, I can demonstrate it right there because I had to press X to uh, stop the to stop the what's it called the C the uh, I, why can't I come up the word right now? Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Yeah, that's right. Uh, office. Office a little bit. Just why not? Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita finds uh, all her Do I remember the code? Files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Uh, I remember the numbers, but not the order. Yay. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Aha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. 
very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Come on, shoot it, please. Uh, the cutscenes are so damn long. <laughs> Well, the thing is that I'm used to speedruns, or watching speedruns of this game. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Phoebus Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. <laughs> Dun dun, slay us, bite the dust. Dun dun dun. dun. Okay. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Okay. I've already plotted a start mission. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Tide of Terror. Well, a stealthy approach. Well, here we are. The first level of the game. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Uh, I hate that. I, I don't know, it feels like the cutscenes are so damn long. Clues. The more I have, 
the easier it'll be to crack the code. I reckon it feels like that way because uh, I'm used to, as I said earlier, I'm I used I'm quite used to watch be watching um, sly speedruns of this game quite often. I might do a few tricks here and there. But only, uh, for instance, that will not really destroy that game that much, for instance. I know there's cutscene right there at the other side of the gate, but I jump down, up, down from there. From... Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, no. So there is cutscene right there, and I jump down from there, so I could skip it. Uh, and there's another one right here. Damn it. To my Damn it. System, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, oh. It's more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. Hmm. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. That's right, they... In the speedrunning community, they used to do a trick here, where they walked off as the cutscene were playing. To skip the cutscene and jump up there. But I forgot. Because they have a new trick right now. And I'm not gonna use it, because I'm planning on this playthrough. For you it might seem a semi-long playthrough, but for me it will... Oh, nice damn it. Job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Yeah, but I'm planning on 100%ing this game, so I need to get all the bottles as well in this level at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but I think feel like it's the easiest. I could have used a trick here, but whatever. Uh, also, that happens when you hit. Uh, Area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. But yeah, uh, when you hit a yellow light or a laser, they activate al an alarm and they become red and deadly. You found it, Sly? That's the final clue to crack the code. Yes, I know. Seven nine two, almost at the same. I think I might have remembered this one. Seven nine three. Yeah, or I don't know. Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. It's amazing how they used the uh, press the triangle button to use it and think about it. What would happen in real life, if that would be the case? Someone said, says to you, Remember to press the X bu button to jump. <laughs> or remember to press the square button to talk. That would be quite hilarious. I might... Ooh, I might... Joke with one of my, one of my friends. What? What? Um, well, either way, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to press like, and if you really loved it, and if you don't want to miss any of my content, then make sure to subscribe. But either way, bye!